By the way, on the topic of Elizabeth's voice, I really appreciate that you can tell it's Ashley Birch, but at the same time, it's really... It's not Aloy. She carries herself completely differently. Which is pretty cool for, you know, being voiced by the same person. This door or the other door? Oh. Maybe I come here later. I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. You're kidding me. Oh, Margo, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design, but he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> <laughs> she was managing him, Margo. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in his pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. <laughs> what can he do? Oh, so he just keeps asking for updates. I thought, like, he was hitting on her or something. Jesus Christ. Just get out of here, okay? Let the- let the grown-ups do the work. Jeez. God, this guy. It's not like anybody here has forgotten that this is all your fault. This is literally all your fault. Why do they even have to care about him anyway? It's not like money matters anymore at this point. You think anybody here is actually getting paid? I'm just curious. Oh my freaking... Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> There's two now! God damn it. Have I just not seen them or... Oh, this makes me so... You know what? I'm just not gonna look at this again because I am... I am on edge. <laughs> Severe corruption. What are we gonna plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history? A whole lot of so-called truth? A whole, a whole lot of noise? It's not pablum, Les. It's poison. That's it? Are you talking about the knowledge that Apollo holds? What are these machines? I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this was on the way. Okay. One thing in there. Oh. Did we go back where we came from or what? It goes back here. Ooh. What the heck is this? Oh. Interesting. Eleuthia! That's where we were, All Mother Mountain. Eleuthia 9, anyway. Alright. Let's start over from Eleuthia 1. Running integrity tests. Dr. Brochard Klein. May I seek outside protocol? I suppose so. There's no one to stop you. Doctor, you are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? Well, I am trapped in a science facility for the rest of my life. <laughs> How about you? In a time 
slice of a quadrillion operating cycles. 10,000 are involved with processing the loss of Dr. Sobek. Mm. I have considered quarantining these processes. Do you think that would be wise? No. I'm not a psychologist, Gaia, or, or an AI scientist. I, no. It is natural. At least in the context of the work you and I have accomplished, which begs the meaning of the term natural. She was your creator, the patron saint of this crazy endeavor, our lady of the fervent hypothetical. Even assuming a string of significant failure combinations, Zero Dawn's chances of success are greater than the hypothetical. Hmm. It's called a manner of speech, Gaia. Take a note. Noted. <laughs> no, if if Elizabeth built sentimentality into you, I would like to think that she wouldn't want you to isolate those processes. The ones inside of you that are mourning her right now. And I guess that makes more sense why mm, back in what was that place called again? Back in the other Elizabeth's office? The other office? Where Elizabeth was saying, no, don't put a kill switch in her, she's just a baby. And that makes sense because, yeah, Aloy's right. We have to value sentimentality sometimes too because that's what makes us care about things, you know? If you're just an AI, you... If you were just an AI, like if Gaia was just an AI, I think that if she failed her operations, she would just be like, I failed my operations and there's a critical error. There's not much I can do. And she'll stop there. But because she has sentimentality, that's why she said, No, I have to find a way for life to survive. I'm gonna make a clone, a genetic clone of Elizabeth, so that there's some chance that this can resolve itself. Some hope. Like, does that make sense? Like, I don't think like, that kind of going that far. Maybe it's not something that a simple AI knows how to do. Unless if it cares in some way. Which might be silly to say, since we are talking about a computer program here. Okay, I'm a little bit lost now because I've looked around here, but I don't really see a way to go back. Do I have to go back where I came from? Oh, there's stairs there. Maybe that's what I need to do. Stairs? Where are they again? If I go... Actually, there's two sets of stairs. Have I been to everything already? I feel like I have. Yeah. Here? Oh, seems like it. Eh? Is that area connected to us? Well, whatever it is, there's stairs over there. That I don't see. Ah! Good thing we didn't see it, because if I did, I probably wouldn't have found that log over on the other side. Oh, I'm so tempted to check if it's been filled out now. Come on, get over there. Oh, oh. Why can't I get over there? There we go. Just let me check, okay? Wait, undiscovered? Yeah, undiscovered. Is this where we came from? Everything kind of looks the same. I don't really have a good grasp of- There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. I'm calm. It's so sad to think about how Elizabeth put so much work into this thing, and her ending was that she was all alone. Completely alone out- Oh, something is shaking again. She was completely alone outside, and she just had to await her death. I'm curious what she meant when she said I want to go home though, and I think we'll, with any luck, we should find out soon. Oh, 
Lord, please let that be the missing one. I've, I've been taking a hard look at the project. In the end, it's simple. It's clean. It's clear. Erasure. Addition by subtraction. I can make a better list. With a single stroke, make it all go away. I really don't like the direction this is going. Continue. What the hell is he doing now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't... Just stay out of everything, okay? You, you've done enough shit, okay? Just... I don't want to think about this. Alright. How am I gonna... Whoa! Okay. How am I gonna get up there? Is there a way for me to... Yes, there is. Um? Control room. Ooh! They even have stairs still for me. Wonderful. I guess I shouldn't go there yet, should I? Oh, well, I'm a little bit curious. Mm, not much here, actually. Surprisingly, not a single thing. Really? Alright. Oh my god, jumping is probably not a good thing here. Well, we started from over there, now we are right- Oh, is that the sun? It's so bright. Margot, Travis, Charles. What? When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. Well, they were here a thousand years ago, so... Oh, that... oh my god, oh my god. Ted Pharaoh, I swear to god. I swear to god. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Oh my freaking lord. Personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, <clears throat> I've, um, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is... Oh my uh, god. I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is... I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted. We've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. Oh it's my done fucking all god. Of every copy. A sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence. 
Innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Planting atmosphere. <gasps> Ted Fair, you stupid motherfucker. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even. It's so eerie though. Did you see how the holograms were seated right in here, but then the body was in the same place? Oh my freaking lord. He. He killed them all. So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. <laughs> He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made, the world we are living in. It's... it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. <sighs> Ted Farrow, in five minutes, deleted the entire collective history of all of humanity up until that point in time. And directly, directly killed the brightest minds on Earth. All in this room. Oh my god. How stupid- I, I can't even say I understand where that comes from. Okay, I get that his reasoning is saying that, no, you know what, we, we did this to ourselves, so we can't give those people in the future the knowledge that we have right now because then they'll do the same thing. You are so- and now we're here slaughtering each other like freaking Neanderthals. We basically are Neanderthals. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The master override. That's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. I feel like this has gone so smoothly. It's like, well, isn't somebody gonna come stop me sometime soon? I can't believe this. Oh my freaking lord. Well, where, where is Ted Pharaoh? We can't even get revenge for the Alphas or anybody. For all of humanity, really. Like, ugh. And all this happened because Elizabeth wasn't there to keep him in check anymore. Why is he even here? He has no knowledge. Why is he here? He's no... We don't need his stinking money anymore. Even if we did, he can just write us a blank check and get out of here. Mm. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I'm trying to figure out where we're going. Where are we going? Silence's workshop. Okay. I can't help but check. Okay, okay. Everything looks good so far. <laughs> Ooh, see, if it ends like that, maybe it's just because we haven't found the next ones yet. Ooh, okay. <laughs> they need to stop worrying me. They need to put these in order, okay? God damn it. Didn't sound good. Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. Yep. By the way, I noticed my my health bar hasn't been disappearing for a long time now. Did my did my uh, custom HUD stuff get changed when I changed the difficulty? Uh, everything is dynamic, right? I feel like I've seen it longer than usual. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just crazy. Sure. 
Okay, do I... Do I do the thing here? Oh my god, I don't... Oh my god. I really don't trust just running off the cliff like that. It seems so crazy. If I die, I'm gonna... Oh my god. Okay. Oh! Keep holding, keep holding. Oh! That was scary. Ah, we're back here, so we... Silence's workshop should be... Up, up, we go up. No? Do we go up this way? Or? I hate that noise we're constantly hearing. It sounds like the cable wires getting ready to break or something. I hate that noise. Oh my gosh. I uh, don't think this is... Oh, maybe, maybe it is. Uh, oh, do we have to... How do I get back? I know where I need to go. I know it. I just... Don't know how the frick to get up there again. Oh! This is promising. Hey. No, I feel like there must be an easier way though. Because the way I've done it here seems like it's a lot of backtracking. <laughs> it's okay. If you can get to the destination, then it's not stupid. Here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered. Such knowledge, you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? <sighs> the Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? <sighs> Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case... The device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. 
a shattered titan buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it. Until my repairs gave it a voice. Oh my god. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. At least you care now, I guess. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. You weren't just a member of the Eclipse, you were really high up there then, holy crap. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Damn. Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. I'm surprised you were able to tap into that kind of technology. That seems pretty, pretty far away from our times. We don't even have computers. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. Hmm, and you escaped them for that long. Not bad. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history.
Wow, both of those are pretty... Hmm. He hasn't done too much, I don't think. All he's done for me is really turn off a few focuses. And he doesn't even seem... I don't know, I don't get the impression that he feels sorry about anything. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Wonderful. <laughs> Silence. Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. That's it. That's silence. Bit of a um, enigmatic character. He's certainly very. How do you call it? He's very brash, upfront, honest. To the degree that it's almost a fault. But, well, that's him. Silence is lands. Could he really not have given me that earlier? He wasn't using it the whole time anyway. The whole time he was watching me. God damn it. <laughs> oh, there's my purple upgrade. Quick light attack, R1. Slower heavy shock attack, R2. And the ability to override unlocked machines. I can't add anything onto this. Hmm, okay. Cool. I traveled far to find you. I heard your transmission. It was you, wasn't it? Entity is not known. I'm called Silence. And you are. I don't think you'd have called out if it wasn't something you wanted. You called, I responded. Will you tell me your name? Hades. You are a creation of the ancients. A war machine. Divine Timeline. Time? Ah. It is the 13th king of the Karja Sundom's reign. Divine Karja. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Were you created by the ancients? I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. How long you'd have to wait for another. You're obviously very powerful. But you're not going to get anywhere without me. Titan Frame merely houses intellect. Define Karja. Now that's more like it. Did Silence sit there the whole time telling him about every definition of all the words he knew? Holy crap. That guy knows how to negotiate. <laughs> Buried Shadow. They're coming. Preparations are complete. Ah, loosen to Bahamas. The priest. Behold. As I promised you. What? Manner of great machine is this? I've never seen such a thing. Stay! Stay your ground, Karja in shadow! Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the Glint Hawk? The perch upon the alight. It speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the spire. To the mesa where Holy Meridian was founded. 
You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will, will you return to us what is ours, O oh, shadow of prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience, you can be certain. Everything just happened to be at the right spot at the right time, and ah, oh, the car just civil war. So back when Silence first discovered Hades... I have to tell Avad that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. But the Spire... Joran was still in power. That was a long time ago. This thing has been brewing for a while. Yeah, back when the derangement first started. Whoa. Can we go down this thing? Seems kind of sketchy. Oh, I don't know. Should I... Oh, God. This is a bad idea, isn't it? Oh! That was definitely not... Oh, my God. Uh, if I drop down anymore, I'm gonna... <laughs> okay, I think I've had too many acrobatics for one day. That wasn't yellow. The rope wasn't yellow. Why did I do that? <laughs> Back outside. Back the way we came. Goodbye, Gaia Prime. Mmm... We got the override. Oh! Just wrapped inspection of Gaia Prime site. Construction is well underway. Reactor installed. Plans for control room. Remind me of Starship Bridges on those cheesy old SF vids. Living spaces for Alpha is already completed. Prefab modules. Fingers crossed, we never have to seal ourselves in here. Not that Elysium sounds much better. Ooh, well, they did end up sealing themselves in there. Spent last week at the Bryce site, designing ZD. Project Labs, drawing up protocols. The base, where we're purposing, was huge. Plenty of room for workspaces and residence blocks. The work crews already set up my office slash lab. Not a fan of the glass wall. Guess Murray's intention was to ensconce me as the all-seeing presence. Ugh, opposite effect. Makes me feel watched on display. Tempted to paint it over. Harry's recorded his presentation yesterday. Suitably bleak. Scheduled to record mine Friday. Ah, the ones that we saw. As soon as reception, lounge, hollow theaters, and first residence block at ZD site are finished, we'll start processing the candidates being held outside Tuscan, 27 already. Extraction teams prioritizing pack rim and Aussie candidates. How scared and confused they must be. Snatched off the street. Carted across the world, held in cells. Here's hoping they understand once they see the big picture. Going to catch a few hours sleep here, then fly back to the ZD site. Harry's promised delivery of QB lattices by noon. Expect MK1 will take two weeks to machine, assemble, and test. I aim to launch Gaia at 0.6T grounding. From there, I'll spin her up past 1.0T. Wonder how long it'll take to break the 1.38T record. MIE can go hang. Sleep. Hmm. That was pretty early on in the grand scheme of things. Oh. Oh, nothing else has been repaired. Not quite yet. And that was it. No more holograms. Wasn't there some... Yeah, there's some damage files here that haven't... No, 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 these are okay. Yeah, it's just the, the logs that we're looking for, I think. Okay. If we keep walking, maybe it'll, it'll be okay. It'll be recovered. No, but before we go to the Looming Shadow, before that, we now have all the power cells. So we should be able to go back to... Did I forget about the vantage point? Seriously? Wow, how did I make it a- oh, Well, doesn't matter because we're gonna go right now. How the hell did I- Oh my god, my attention span is just... Anyway, like I said, it's fine. We can still do it here. Oh, it's probably because earlier there were so many machines here. 
that I couldn't even think about anything else other than trying to survive. Getting soaked from melted snow. They're all gone. They're all gone now. See? The storm. Can't see anything here. Damn. A lot of machines buried here. Okay, it's around here... somewhere. Wait, so this guy actually made a vantage point near Gaia Prime. Before Gaia Prime was built though, right? It has to be. Save these for the trail. There it is. There it is, but how do we... It doesn't look like we get up here, but I'm gonna... <laughs> no, I can't. Okay. Here? Mm. Onward and upward. Last but not least. Full already. King's Peak. Oh. A pocket shit storm tour. A ten. So, here's where I learned how the world would end. My second apocalypse in a year. Looks like there's a lot of construction going on now. Why would that be? Hmm. It was right during when Gaia Prime was being built. So, this is back when... The... The people, the authorities, so to say, already know that the world is gonna go to shit. But the information hasn't been spread publicly yet. There it is. Hi, Ma. I was surprised when FAS sent me out here, and not just because the meeting was going to be held in real space. I was surprised to discover that anyone at FAS still knew I existed. When I returned to work after treatment, HR informed me that I'd been reassigned to the Vantage Project. It was exactly the professional death sentence I was expecting. The career equivalent of getting sent into a red zone without an environment suit. Everyone knew Vantage was one of those Dune projects FAS kept around solely for the purpose of assigning dead-enders to them, especially head cases like me, who couldn't be summarily fired for fear of parody litigation. Month by month, management would pile losers on a lost cause then cancel the project and lay everyone off. A ship of fools sunk with a single torpedo. Ain't wrongful dismissal of its downsizing. I had nothing better to do, so I spent my time studying the tech. Chip design wasn't my forte, but I knew enough to admire what the engineers had accomplished with the Eternity chip. Stored data was guaranteed to last 50,000 years or more without degradation. As for Vantage itself, the project was little more than a failed marketing plan. The idea was to promote the tech by burying unlocked Eternity chips at scenic locales around the world. Public domain time capsules where enthusiasts could cache date-locked data. The project got as far as developing the Spikes, portable drill applicators, to sync the chips, then stalled when the grass heckle encapsulates came on to the market and stole Eternity's thunder. Anyway, I've been at Vantage three weeks when FAS unexpectedly sent me out here for a real space meeting. Me, a dead ender, working a Dune project, dispatched to a high security FAS R&D site inside King's Peak. It didn't make sense. Security put me in a small conference room and told me to wait. It was downright claustrophobic, dim lights, bad ventilation, more like an interrogation room for one of those, from one of those 90s cop vids. But what really got my attention was the noises coming through the walls, the non-stop bang and clatter of construction bots building something deep inside the mountain, something big. 
The door opened, and some doofs wearing FAS badges file in. I recognized one of them, Brad Andak, a military division replications engineer I met when I first joined the company, but I don't think he recognized me. He stayed at the back of the room the whole time, looking distraught. I was about- wait, Brad Andak? Wasn't that one of the people invited to join the Project Zero Dawn? Yeah, that was the guy who coded it, right? And that's why he's looking so distraught. I was about to ask what the hell was going on when a woman wearing a hijab walked in, Samina. She didn't introduce herself, but she didn't have to. It was Samina Ebaji, former lead archivist of the Odyssey, architect of the entire Homer project. Not a global celebrity by any means, but if you grew up following the Odyssey project like I did, you knew her on site. Ebaji sat down and started asking extremely precise questions about the upper range tolerances of eternity chips. Then she asked me to speculate about the feasibility of various upgrade paths. The interview lasted maybe 10 minutes, whereupon she thanked me for my time and left. Everyone else filed out after her. Mmm, this is when Samina was looking into what type of technology could fit all of humanity's knowledge. Security came for me a few minutes later and escorted me to my vert. The whole way back to FAS, I kept trying to figure out what had just happened. What was Samina Ibaji doing at a classified Faro R&D site, asking me questions about the Eternity tech? It didn't add up. By the time I landed, I knew I wasn't gonna give up until I puzzled it out. The worst that could happen was I'd get fired, and that was gonna happen anyway. It took a couple of days and some geo work, but I got a fix on Brad Andex soon enough. He was going to a different bar every night, drinking to the point of blacking out. I shadowed him until I managed to proxy his focus and dupe his net protocols. I didn't find anything strange in his financial records or media patterns. I was starting to think I'd wasted my time. Then I accessed his Dreambox account and found the journal he'd been keeping the past few weeks. It was all there, how the world would end. My first thought was, well, at least my mod didn't live to see this. My second thought, was that nothing mattered anymore. Which made it pretty obvious that I should kill myself. Oh, and that is the last vantage point. Now we know Bashar Mati's entire story. And we know that he didn't kill himself. Not like that anyway. Oh, I have to say, this vantage point thing is such an unexpected gem in the entire game. Like, the main story is amazing too, but this vantage point story, I don't think I've ever wanted to cry from reading text in a video game. Like that part in the other one about how he loved his mom and... Oh my god. It's not hard to tell that they put tons and tons of work into a lot of this stuff. Okay. Power cells? Power cells, yes. That is... Uh, well, thanks for showing me it on the map. No, I need to actually see where it is. There we go. An unnamed bunker. Okay. And we can't... Uh, can we fast travel there? Here? Mother's Rise. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a closer one here. Okay, sounds good to me. 